What's up everyone, Drew Pickens here. We're taking a look at the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. We're doing a Geekbench test with Geekbench 3. So over here on the left, I do have the iPhone 5 running the, you know, iOS 7, as well as the A6 processor and the 32-bit. While the iPhone 5S is running iOS 7 and it has the new A7 chip and a 64-bit processor. So the iPhone 5S is a little bit snappier than the 5 with the uh, new processing and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and launch the application, but before we do, I do want to show you guys that my multitasking is clear on both phones, as you can see here. So let's go back into our home screen and let's launch the Geekbench application. And let's go ahead and begin the test. Let's see which one wins. So it looks like the iPhone 5S won that one with the very high scores. It only took him about 50 seconds to catch up, and the iPhone 5 is still finally catching up to the iPhone 5S. We're at 45 seconds in on the iPhone 5. Let's see how long it takes it to catch up. So it took it a minute and five seconds for the iPhone 5 to actually finish the Geekbench test while the iPhone 5S only took about 50 seconds. So not that bad of a deal. So the iPhone 5S is definitely snappier than the predecessor iPhone 5. As you can see just by the scores here, the iPhone 5S blows the uh, iPhone 5 out of the water. And I do believe it even kills the Note 3 as well. So keep that in mind there. Just a little bit more of a snappier processor than the previous phones that are out on the market thanks to that new 64-bit. So there you guys go. This has been a quick look at the Geekbench 3 test. If you guys did enjoy this video, go make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Drop off your comments down below. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram. All those links are down below in the video description. So thanks for the video. We'll see you guys in the next one.